What's up, everyone? Welcome back to After the Storm, and welcome back to the NHL 06 Dynasty Mode series. We are embarking on a huge road trip early on in the season. I believe we've lost back-to-back -back games. We're 2-3-0, and I believe, on the season right now. Um, actually, I should just go look at our calendar, but let's go down here. Where are we sitting in the league? Pretty low. Ooh, 28th. Yeah, 2 3 0 to start the season. Nashville, Columbus, below us right now, have played an extra game each, but uh, we got to get kind of moving here. Uh, we got to get into the win column and really just kind of start clawing our way back. And uh, this road trip is a great opportunity to do that. However, we are facing some tough competition as we go through. So the road trip here consists of uh, Tampa Bay. We're going to playing Florida on the second half of a back-to-back -back in our next episode. Florida currently the best team in the league, sitting at 16 points. I think they're 8-0-1. No, they're 8-1-0, rather. Uh, Tampa Bay, 5-2-0-1. So it looks like they've pretty much managed to grab a point in almost every game. And then Carolina, who has started off kind of rough this year. Um, in real life, These, this is the eventual Stanley Cup champions. Likely what the Carolina roster in this game is just it doesn't feature the guys they acquired at the deadline. So um, they're obviously missing quite a bit of talent that really took them to that next level. But obviously we got to focus first on Tampa and Florida getting through that. Hatchick's going to get the start in the first half here. Uh, and then Cujo will get the start against Florida in our next episode early on in the season here we're probably at a point where it's like it's kind of a win and you're in situation uh so whoever our best goaltender is who's giving us uh our best opportunity to win is going to be the one that gets the start tampa bay no injuries on their roster much like our squad as well early on in the season nobody has really had the opportunity to get hurt uh as of yet uh, and the goals, four goals against, they're kind of inverse of one another. Tampa is three, 2.63, uh, so very even there. However, ours is 2.6 and three against. So uh, we got to get our offense rolling a little bit more. We have one of the deadliest teams in terms of offense in the league for sure. We have th essentially three first, three first lines. Our fourth line isn't too shabby either. They were the the line that was getting a lot of the momentum going in our last game. Tampa Bay, even at home, they really only have an, an you know, a an advantage on the defensive side of things. The goaltending is really where this should change. Uh, John Graham is likely going to be in the net for Tampa in this one. And, of course, we have the better team overall. On to the goaltenders. Again, this is a big discrepancy, even though it's only five overall points. And we wouldn't think that's too much. Um, probably in today's games, it is a quite a difference at this stage. So Hash again the start on the road, looking to avenge a loss, and uh, John Graham 88 overall. Again, the the goaltenders in this game or in these games at this time really were highly rated. They most of them are in the 90s. If you're a pure starting goaltender, you are in the 90s, 90 overall range. Uh, so Graham would be on the kind of lowest of low ends. I'll be starting goaltender in this game. All right, so a huge road trip upcoming. Game number one against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, the defending at this time still Stanley Cup champions, given we're coming off the lockout and they won in 2004. So, again, a big, big matchup. we got to get going, got to get moving in the right direction to start our season before this becomes a very, very uphill climb. Starts with this game. So let's go ahead and start, kick off this road trip, hopefully with a, uh, a win here. So let's jump into the game against Tampa. All right. St. Pete times for him. Tampa, Florida. Again, this road trip kicking off. A lethal offense. Man, this the... And if it... I think it always depends on what era you start watching hockey in. Uh, but, man, this is my favorite era of jerseys right here. Like, the, this Tampa jersey is the best. The black with the blue. Oh, it just looks so great. Anyways, yeah, Dominic Hasek in net. Let's go. Oh, do I got to change the uh, view? I do. Give me one sec. I like in the later games where they just change that to the user perspective is always up or whatever. It's great. There's a chance by Redden. He's been kind of quiet so far. 
Um, not sure. He's probably put up some assists early on in the season, but hasn't really done much the other way. Ooh, chance there, and Alfredson gets another chance. Ooh, good chances, Hashik. Good saves. St. Louis is so fast. Here we go. Good, good pick off by Chara. We're probably going to see a line change here. There's oh Healy and Graham gets the pads. Ooh, Smolinski there. Oh, that one got across and a good save by Hashik. Here's Bondra. Fast skating Peter Bondra. Good save by Hashik there. Modine. Good lord. He is a big dude. Richards. This, this, this line is... Kind of two or three lines of this Tampa Bay team is very deep. Very deep up offensively. We got another line change on here. Simpson is way down deep. Hopefully somebody's back for him. Looks like Renberg did. Chances. Ooh. Poche almost put that in our own net. He's going to doom line out. Shot by Leclerc. Good save. Ooh, Leclerc nearly stealing that one. He plays by Renberg. The guy so far that I've just I'm looking to see get rewarded for a lot of his play. He's been very good. Defensively in this game, he's been all over the offense too. Being a shot, good save by Hashik. Here's Heatley. Good save by uh, Graham there. Oh man, another chance by Spets. There we go in front again. The, the goalies stacking the pads in this game have been overpowered on these these uh, one timers. Alfredson and Boyle. Oh man, Dan Boyle broken in this game. Look at this dude skate. Oh, and he tried to <laughs> he tried one of those plays. Lukowicz in. Good save by Hashik. Back. Ooh, good save. And there it is. The end of the first. That was a quick first. I don't even know, actually, if we had a face-off beyond the opening one. It'll be interesting to see as we go into the menu here. But a good gold hitters duel so far. Hashik solid. Graham solid at the other end, too. It's going to come a time when it kind of breaks down, hopefully, in this game for us and we start getting that puck through. It was the opening face-off and that whole period ran. That was one single shift. That was crazy. Don't think our fourth line actually got out in that period either. Chance from Chara. Graham easily. Easily greater than that one. Oh, good play by Lukowicz there. Oh, we stripped the puck. Bondra turns it back over. Chance by Smolenski, but it's blocked. Gonna make sure we can't let Dan Boyle be skating around. Cross, good play by Havlak coming back, making sure Prospel can't get that one. Healy. Ooh, 
Ooh, good hip check by Chara. There we go. Spezza with a nice backhand pass across. Yeah, perfect. Perfect placement by Alfie. Excellent stuff. We get the lead in Tampa. Always nice to strike first, that's for sure. Ooh, draws tied up there against the boards. Oh, and a penalty. Looks like an elbowing call. Coming to Lindros. Shot there. I'm not sure if that was a saver off the side of the net, but Lindros going to go off for elbowing. And we... After getting the lead, we're going to have to hopefully find a way to kill this one off. Early clear from Redden. Oh, Graham, don't. <laughs> that new trapezoid rule. St. Louis takes a big hit. Uh-oh. Couldn't get it out. And there's Fedotenko to pounce on a rebound. Past Hashik. It's a tough break right there. Backhander by Fedotenko. So you can't uh, can't take those kind of penalties against Tampa. Like that. that's just a lethal power play unit. Ooh, offside the net. Oche back. It was Renberg. Renberg. Oh, in nearly got it. Good block by Lindros. Finds Leclerc. There's a chance from Leclerc there, too. Oh, try to find Leclerc maybe on the back door, but kind of in the middle of a change. We started off with an Alfredson goal and the tying Fedotenko marker on the off the Lindros penalty. So, again, pretty deadlocked still. Here's Bondra. Bondra. Oh, we couldn't get the second shot away. Where's the penalty on that hook? Oh, Smolenski's going for a change. Shot there. Good save. Again, Hashik's been very good in this one. No complaints there. There's Heatley. Oh, man. Getting lots of great chances in the slot. Great pick off by Redden there, too. Let's see, final minute here. Let's see if we can maybe generate one more chance. And that's going to be offside. Chance there to end the period. Hashik standing tall, but trading goals. Alfredson, Fedotenko. We've got a deadlock heading to the third. Shots are pretty even. 18 17, or yeah, I think it's 18 to 17 in our favor as we enter the third. Spezza. Shot. Heatley there. Rebound scores. Heatley. Finally getting rewarded. It's a good play by Spezza there, actually. Kind of shooting for the rebound. Gets a nice one to pop out, and Heatley, sniper on the doorstep. Makes that one look easy. There's 
Nice. Heatley. Alfredson has this. Maybe this top line is going to start heating up here a little bit. Heatley, maybe. Oh. Still grinding away with Pavel Kabina. Huge Pavel Kabina there. There he is. There he ran into a brick wall. Had a tanko there. Shot. Oh, great save by Hashik. Shot by Heatley. Oh, another potential rebound opportunity there. There's Volchenkov. Smart play there. Gets the hit. Cut the puck away and just dumped it in the zone. Tampa's going to push here. Look, Brian Boyle, he's so fast. Oh, great chance there. Fedotenko looking for a second of the game, but Hashik making a huge save. There's Bondra, big shot. Big save by Graham. So glad. I, I guess one of the biggest things I've enjoyed about... Oh, man, what a save by Hashik. Let's take the whistle. The biggest change is over from, from 05 to to 06 um it's just been the goaltenders they look just so much more competent in the net making lots of saves it's really nice to see i it only really only just starts getting better from from here on out and dross claire crossed over him over to renberg oh renberg had the chance there leclaire shot on Sarge going through. Scores. Oh, Corey Sarge. What an individual effort. Just like that, we're tied back up. Not the usual suspect for Tampa to be getting a goal here, but there it is. Here's Seaback. Shot, big save. There's Heatley again. Oh, man. This top line started to generate. The pizza line getting going. You'll love to see it. Looked like Lukowicz blocked it. Didn't have time to recover it before Heatley finds it and pots it, so... Heatley getting the goal, or the scoring touch rolling. Good to see. We regain the lead. Over to McCammon scores, and there's some insurance. A 2-on-0, Fisher and McCammon. Lucky break the other way. Beautiful shot. Beautiful pass by Fisher over to McCammon. And that's what we needed here in the third, getting that extra marker. Schaefer, oh, Schaefer trying to walk the line there. So this fourth line has been very, very effective early on for us this season. Go McCammond. Speedster, McCammond. Oh, we tried to go backhand on him. Just hit the side of the net, it looks like. Say Louis. Chara wanted to stop. <laughs> Say Louis. Ooh, Le Cavalier there. Good chance. Fisher crushes Say Louis against the boards. Here's Heatley. Maybe looking for the hat trick. Heatley in. Nearly. Great chance here. McCammon's going to come all the way back as it looks like maybe Redden was changing. Easy save there for Hashik. McCammon dumping it in. Crossbull shot. Good save, Hashik. Cam is still out there. There's Spets. Spins off a boil. Finds Heatley. Backhander. Big save by Graham. Oh, boy. 
There's a chance there. Great save by Hashik. Heatley. Oh, maybe forcing that puck a little bit. Heatley there. Turned over. Taylor shot on. Good save. Andrew Chuck shot. Final seconds now. We're trying to still get this puck out. And Char is going to take a penalty. Just with a couple seconds left. But we are going to walk into Tampa. And walk out with a victory. And that's a big one as we uh, head to Sunrise in our next episode. Second half of this back-to-back -back to get a win against the league-leading Florida Panthers, but that's going to do it for this one. The losing streak is over. Back into the win column, back to 500 on the season. And we'll look to take this momentum into Florida against the Panthers. We'll hop out after this, preview our next matchup. So it kind of feels like maybe uh, Hashik should have got a star in that game. He didn't actually get one. Uh, but he stopped, I think it was 29-31. So, uh, fantastic performance from, from Dom in that game. That was huge. Uh, Cujo, definitely going to get the start in Florida. I'd like to start Hashik on the back-to-back. -back. Um, but, you know, in terms of resting and keeping our goaltenders fresh, uh, this is just our best method. So, let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and preview our next matchup against the Florida Panthers. Before we get uh, to there, though, how uh, how about this? A trade in the league again. Uh, Pittsburgh, Phoenix coming together for a trade. Boyd Devereaux, Ladislav Nagy. So this is a very young Ladislav Nagy at this point. Um, heading to Pittsburgh in exchange for Dick Tarnstrom and Andy Kyoto. And I wonder, how, I wonder how Crosby's doing early on this season. The Pittsburgh Penguins are healthy scratching Sidney Crosby. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> he has not played a game. He's not played a thing. He's like their second best player on the roster and he hasn't even played. This is, Lemieux's not even having a good season. Lemieux's here with three points in seven games so far. Nagy comes over and immediately leads the team. And Wow. Get Crosby in the lineup, guys. Come on. I mean, let's take a look at Washington. Is Washington the same boat? Nope, they're playing Ovechkin. This doesn't make any sense. Oh, the Penguins are useless. Anyways, five goals in his first six career games for Ovechkin. That's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, how many shots does he have, I wonder? 50, you know, it's only got 15 shots on net, so that's pretty impressive. He's shooting 33%. That's wicked. I don't think, I'm wondering, just, I guess, we'll take a look at the standings here before we go ahead and preview, but, uh, I guess let's take a look at the Eastern Conference. So Pittsburgh is actually up here leading their division. Here's Washington. Washington sitting in ninth. So um, both teams are kind of touching the playoffs at this point. Buffalo was surprisingly not doing well. Wow. Actually, all three of these teams right here are surprisingly not doing well, but... We're, we're, we're turning ourselves around here. All right, so our preview of our matchup. Again, we are close in terms of our goaltending, exactly the same. Honestly, we have the advantage in offense. My head is probably blockhand 93. Uh, that is our big one. Uh, otherwise, this is a very close matchup for our squads. Uh, our goals, four goals against is really evened out now. Um, but Florida, Florida, I believe, is still 8-0 and 8-1-0 on the season. And we have a... Great goaltending matchup here. Cujo, 94, even on the road, is awesome to see. I think Hashik is a little fatigued or something because he definitely dropped down to a 91. Interesting there. 
because uh, it looks like the game actually kind of forces you to make sure you're adjusting for those back-to-back -back games. Uh, Luongo, one of the best goaltenders. I think Theodore was also a 98. Probably Brodeur is up there as well in terms of goaltenders at this point in time who were very, very good. And Florida in their last game, they're coming off a 1-0 shutout win against Washington. Uh, they have yet to lose on the road. They're 4-1-0 at home as well. This is easily the best team so far in the league and no injuries. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, oh, man, they are kind of loaded. <laughs> Jokinen, Bomeister, Roberts. Uh, this is a really good... Uh, it's a really good Florida team at this time. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for episode, I believe that's episode number six in the books. We will be back with episode number seven, second half of this back-to-back -back against the Florida Panthers. So far, we're keeping ourselves kind of in it. Uh, we're starting to really get our lines going, uh, which is important, but we're going to have to continue to improve on all of this going forward, or we're at a risk of getting left behind. So anyways, that'll do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Helps me out considerably. Hit the notification bell so you can get these videos as soon as they upload. And as always, guys, I will catch you on the next one.